green in that brush. All this was like this. Over up beside the house, all this was like this. So we started cleaning it out. It's gonna be a new yard I'm starting. So we're just working and getting it cleaned up as I go. I didn't mow or anything yet today. I just spent time messing with that. And uh, so, it's hard to tell, but this is a sweet house. Um, so let's keep moving. All right, guys, what's up? This is Tony driving got my turkey sandwich here um yeah that yard I just showed you it's kind of like a cleanup kind of deal and um I, it's a bi-weekly but a uh, year-round deal and uh originally I was not going to charge them cleanup fee and just start cleaning it up as I came and then it would just slowly get better I do that on some of my you know if they you know if they sign up for the year-round deal um but there's a lot of work there and um and the lady the people were very nice and also these are people that i know so that's another thing like um i'm really uh really glad to be able to work for them because they're great people and know them know them they're friends of mine anyway so but this first month so what we're going to do is we're going to double the price and then come every single week you know to try to get some of the mess i mean it is just ridiculous you know how like the beds haven't met, been messed with in a couple years probably you know so they're grown up and all that so i'm I took my brand new mower down there and was, you know, bush hogging with it. But, you know, that's why I have it, is to make money with it. So, anyway, let's keep going on this long journey. So, I'm a little behind because of that, because I spent a little longer there than I was planning to. Um, but, you know, it's going to work out because they're going to pay me double this month, you know, what I was originally going to do, because I'm gonna, and I'm going to come twice as much to just to get it in shape so it's gonna work out um, but I'm a little bit behind schedule so and it's gonna rain tomorrow and so all this stuff um, so I'm gonna <clears throat> I'm gonna get some more mowing footage here in a second Alright guys, this is the very first yard that I did, that I video with my Skag when I first got it, my little Liberty, a year ago. So I figured, hey, what a more perfect yard to film this new mower on. So that's what I did. That's what I'm here doing right now. I'm really liking this mower so far. I used it on the little bush hogging thing. Um, you know, a few other yards. You know, it's doing great. It's doing great. Um, you know, the traction isn't quite as good as i wish it was but i knew that before i bought it you know a lot of the new mowers nowadays they make them a little bit front heavy um it's you know but again it's still it's not that bad i even used it on some hills and stuff it's okay just is what it is but uh, i love the mower so far i think it's the best deal for the best weight you know all that stuff um you know it's exactly what i thought it would be so that's a really good thing so um this is just weeds just weeds weeds and more weeds but striping pretty good it has like a big old 10 inch striping flap kind of thing and i don't really like it that much because when you back up you can feel it like folding under the deck so i'll probably end up taking it off but anyway Loving the mower so far. I got about, I don't know, four or five hours. Ago. So, let's get it. Alright, guys, another thing last week that happened that was nuts um, is, uh, man, for some reason, I don't know if it's the season changing or what, but, man, I just felt sick. Felt like I was gonna diarrhea. I was gonna poop my pants. Felt like I was gonna throw up. And so, like, it got so bad to the point where I, like, this, this, I was on this yard out there, which, uh, you know, I, I don't know if I should be saying this stuff on the video, but, and I don't, it's kind of embarrassing, but, you know, hey, I just want to be honest with you guys and tell you what's really going on, so, anyway, and it was on a neighborhood that's far away from my house as well, but I was like, man, I can't, I can't make it, I gotta, I'm gonna have to leave now, <laughs> so I left the lady's yard half cut, and, uh, and I was starting to drive home 
and I didn't even I was just gonna drive home for a minute you know just for a little bit just lay down or something um, and I drove you know this I already had done a few yards this was probably around lunchtime or so maybe even a little bit before that and it, yeah it was like maybe only 10 o'clock or something you know I was two or three yards in and I didn't even make it out of that neighborhood to the stop sign man I was just thrown up I could not hold it down so I just opened the door of my truck thankfully I was on kind of a country part although it was right out in front of a gas station so whoever was there they kind of got a view there uh, but anyway man so I went home just for a little bit my wife brought me some lunch because um, she was down out of town bringing river to the chiropractor and uh, she brought me some uh, some chick-fil-a so that was the only thing I felt like I might could eat so I just laid down for a couple hours um, and then so about you know a total loss of about four hours and that's all I lost and I went back out because I had to meet this client that was coming up from out of state to their house here I met with them I got that job and I did two or three more yards after that too so I didn't let it stop me you know I still I was still ended up a couple behind that day um, but you know I still I still got a lot done so even though I had that sick you know I still kept going and then and you know it was fine you know it worked out the next day I felt better because um, I kind of have this philosophy you know I'm gonna I'm gonna feel terrible at home anyway so I might as well go and just make some money you know even if I feel bad I still work and just try to go to bed a little early that night or something which you know with, with a young baby that doesn't really work out seems this these days for me for me but um, anyway I'm just doing it you know just like y'all are doing it and uh you know and then also it's bad timing it's right here in the spring rush you know and so you know so I'm super super busy you know it's kind of a six days a week thing right now and then you know I had that too and I got all these new yards starting and so it's it's kind of a mess right now but but we're doing it we're doing it and I'm trying to get ahead as much as I can and uh so I thank you guys for watching my channel, so I won't bore you. I'm not gonna make this any longer. I've already made it too long, so um, thank you guys. You know it really means a lot to me. Um, another thing, another thing. Um, there's a guy. His channel is called Long Care Life in Missouri, and um, super great guy. I was at the expo last year, and um, I was over at the Bobcat. Bobcat. Uh, mower part and I seen him and I had seen him on Instagram because he's pretty popular on there in the lawn care you know community things he posts on there like every three seconds or something but anyway he's a great guy one of one of the best guys I've ever met and um, anyway just here recently he's kind of started up a YouTube channel he's already got like a couple hundred subscribers and at 500 subscribers he's giving away a green touch rack um, so y'all be sure to check his channel out. I'll have the link for you right down here in the description. It'll make it easy. Um, and, uh, so y'all go check him out. Um, great guy. Great things to say. Great outlook on business and life. Um, just a super great guy. Um, so, anyway. That's this week's shout out. See you later.